Hey y'all, Mrs. Z here. Thank you so much for tuning in to our episode 6 of The Outer Worlds. This one we're really just going to focus on the botanical area uh, and then just kind of go from there. Again, any uh, thoughts or feedback, super welcome in the comments below. Uh, also, link below are my Twitter, our Discord, and I am a full-time streamer on Twitch. Feel free to stop by and meet the rest of the eFam. All right, now I think we're gonna head over to the botanical garden area and try to figure out what's going on. We've got a message to deliver. And we haven't even found the botanical garden yet, so this is gonna be a little quick little tripsy around. Oh, here it is. Here is the botanical lab. It's a lab, not a garden. It's a lab. Move along, botanical stranger. Lab, we don't thing. want any trouble. I don't know you. Whatever you're looking for, it ain't here. Move along. I'm, I'm looking for Adelaide. I need some answers. Answers, huh? You must be one of those philosophicals. Already got ourselves one of those. Reed said something about former workers living out in the wilderness? Yeah, that's us. And you can tell Thompson we're doing just fine by ourselves. If you're gonna start wandering around my camp, know that I got my sights on you. Where can I find Adelaide? Over in the hothouse, tending crop. Enough with the questions. No offense, but I've got a lot on my mind. <laughs> We've all got problems. I just got shot into space. Explains why you're still yammering on at me. No, I'm sorry. That was unworthy of me. Lady named Zoe went missing some nights ago. Just up and vanished without a trace. Now I'm pacing around wondering if marauders got to her. I'll keep an eye out. It's not like Zoe to go wandering. Figured she might be out scavenging. But that ain't exactly her talent. Can't imagine where she's gone. Vale's a wide place. She could be anywhere. Unless marauders got to her, then parts of her could be in a lot of places. Could do without the gallows humor. I'll leave you be. Let's go find Adelaide. This is really nice. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. If you're hungry, there's meat turning on the spit outside. If you're bearing illness, find a place to lay your head down and I'll fetch you a poultice. Whatever your troubles with Edgewater, leave them at the gates and be welcomed here. Any questions, dear? You must be Adelaide. I have been called that, among other things. Green Thumb, Grandmother, the strange old lady who keeps flowers. But yes, Adelaide will do just fine. Excuse me, Miss McDevitt? Sorry, it's just... You got such pretty trees in here. Why, thank you. You're Robert's girl, aren't you? I remember when you were but a sprout. Thomas speaks of you often. Are you staying long? You should try some of my tobacco tea. I brew it in an old spittoon, but it's been cleaned. Reed sent me to make peace with you. Reed Thompson? You here on behalf of that cold-eyed reptile? Let's hear it. What's Reed's idea of peace then? Reed asks you to consider coming back into town. He's wanting to make amends. Make amends? Spare me. Only thing Reed knows how to make is a mess. Like everything else that comes out of Edgewater, that peace offering is canned. 
I and my own are living just fine out here by ourselves. Look, this is serious. I'm, I'm about to cut off your power. You're doing this for Reed? Why? Your camp has a power regulator. I need it to repair my ship. Cannery's got a regulator. You want ship parts, you ought to rip them out of the cannery's guts and leave us be. If you're going down to the plant, you should divert power away from Edgewater and toward our end of the grid. Think about it. You'd be liberating an entire town from a lifetime of service to that odious cannery. Seems the sort of thing a hero would do. I'll consider it. I trust you will listen to your conscience. Let's just take a little look-see around back here and see if there's anything. This, this terminal just has some notes about soil being poor when they got here. So Adelaide figured out how to fix the soil. Hmm, huh, it's really smart. Are, are those gold teeth? I wonder if these would help Conrad clear his burial fees. Fancy duds. Do the tubes get in your way? I'm told one of your numbers has gone missing? You mean Zoe? Yeah, we were pretty close. Not like her to go loping off. Tell me a little bit about Zoe. Zoe was always obsessed with this serial. Masked marketeer. A scion of Byzantium turns to banditry and teaches his marauder companions the wisdom of free market economics. Shame she up and vanished when she did. I had a surprise lined up for her. You sound like some type of corporate fixer asking all these questions. What was that about surprising Zoe? The other day I got my hands on a genuine copy of the latest Masked Marketeer. I was gonna surprise Zoe with it, but she was gone the next day. What happened on the day Zoe disappeared? Zoe and I were gonna watch the serials, as is our custom. She never turned up. I looked around, but she was nowhere to be found. Was she acting strange before she disappeared? Can't say I recall Zoe ever acting strange. Well, except for her habit of writing things down on scraps of paper. She called it journaling, but I think it's just plain odd. See you around. Hmm, so journaling. I should be able to find that where she's going through that, hopefully. All right, so this is saying that she caught the plague. Um, hmm. Okay, and, and this one over here is saying she wants to be a bandit. Wow, seems, uh, seems a little delusional. Let's just uh, look around the town a little bit more with the lab area, I guess. I guess this kind of looks like a little kitchen area over here hmm not not too much going on oh that's Thomas he used to follow me around before he left the cannery oh I uh, didn't see you there I was uh well I was just occupying myself with a little engineering whoa <laughs> miss Parvati <laughs> Hey, you're, uh, what, um, how, how are you, hi, 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 uh, hello. Are you, uh, uh, are things safe out here? How are you keeping? Great, just great. I've been trying to keep stuff running, just like you. Only I'm not so, wait, they didn't kick you out, did they? Oh, gosh, no. I I'm just along with this lady here. Are you from town? Uh, I mean, you don't exactly look like you're from town. I'm just passing through. 
Sorry, I just wasn't sure if you were from town or if you were one of us. Something's been chewing at me, you see. Fact is, I've been, well, lying. To everybody here. Camp thinks I'm a mechanical genius, but I couldn't fix a busted chair. Never too late to start learning. I could give you a couple pointers. I'll take all the help I can get. I set my mind to learning the craft of the engineer, you see. I want to make something of myself. You ever heard of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering? Comes in a set of three. If I had my hands on one of those data pads, I could teach myself the ins and outs. Those are good. My dad kept a copy with him when he was working in the cannery. I know the old community center kept a copy. Should find another one back in town. If you could find me even one of those pads, I'd be greatly obliged. Today is your lucky day, Thomas. I've got one of those data pads you wanted. No kidding. Really? Well, which one? Part one, founded in the community center archives. Look at that. Building a computing machine out of Spectrum Potatoes, a primer. I'm just glad it survived all these years. I appreciate you going through all that trouble. In fact, I put aside something special on the off chance that somebody would search out those data pads for me. Hold on, I've got more for well, you. Don't keep me in suspense. Part two, found it in the cannery. Ain't that just ironical. If I'd worked a little longer back at the cannery, I might have found this myself. Two whole data pads? Be still my beating heart. Oh, almost forgot your payment. I should go. All right, let's just kind of walk around here for a little bit. I don't really see any other open buildings back here, aside from a few mines. I guess that's just to keep themselves safe, but not, not really too much going on around here. It's kind of a dead town. Kind of thought Edgewater was a little empty, but this, this is, this is empty. Even the people around here don't really have too much to say. Oh, here we go. Here's a little house. Um, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing massive around here. Nothing major, nothing out of the or norm. Hmm. Kind of walk around a little bit more, see if there's maybe anybody else needs anything, but I just, I'm not really feeling it. It's kind of like a dead town. The people around here... I mean, they're not dying, but let's look in the store. Yeah, this, the storeroom is empty even. Like, there's not hardly anything, well, there's not really anything for sale at all or anything stocked up or saved. How are these people doing this? Well, uh, let's let's go try to find Zoe. I know that Marauder Camp's pretty close to here, so we should just be able to find her really fast and hopefully get her rescued. I don't think that there's. I think we can't most You're of fast. people there. I think. And as is tradition, we have got to grab all the little loots that we find. And let me shoot this little and go team. I don't know anybody who ever came out this far. All right, I hear something. I hear something. Uh, oh, there's Zoe. Stand what and she, deliver. What is she? Oh, what? Stand that. and deliver what? Oh, oh, people, let's go knock them out real fast. Oh. All right. Yeah, there's, there we go. I guess now we got them all? I think we got them all now. Yeah, let's go talk to Zoe. Wow, you You're Zoe? Your people are looking for you. What? You mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature-loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. 
I need you to clarify something for me. I'm great at clarifying. Are you a prisoner here? Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I'm impressed. How'd you pull it off? I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but yeah, I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. Well, why did you leave the camp? I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find but a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. There was something else, actually. I've got all the time in Halcyon. I've been sent here to find you. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. You should go back. People are worried. I doubt that. Nobody in that camp really cared about me. What about Stefan? You two are friends. Yeah, I suppose you're right. Also, he could carry on a conversation. Unlike these hooligans. I'll take my stuff and head on back, I suppose. Grace is going to be glaring knives at me, so I've got that to look forward to. Take care. All right, let's uh, head back and let Grace know that Zoe's safe and on her way back. What is it? I talked to Zoe into coming back. We didn't always get along, but I'm glad to know she's safe. What happened, anyway? She joined with a band of marauders. They hadn't heard her. Zoe joined up with a band of marauders. Zoe. The same Zoe who doesn't know a barrel from a trigger. Well, I've heard stranger things. You pretty much did my job for me. Least I could do is pay you for your trouble. Let me know if I can do something for you. Ah, leave you be. All right, y'all, and with that, we have reached the end of our botanical lab look see. Um, next episode, we'll probably start heading to the geothermal plant to figure out which side should receive the power. Uh, again, any suggestions or thoughts are welcome in the comments below. Also linked below are our Discord, my Twitter account, and my Twitch, as I am a full-time Twitch streamer at this time. So hopefully we will see you guys next time, and have a good one!